A question as old as time is what is TXM's top 100 special moves in Inazuma 11? Well, here is the answer. It's highly anticipated as the Bible 2 itself. If you're watching this, you know what an Inazuma 11 special move is more than likely. It's the big flashy moves they do um, to, to, to do the thing in the football. You know what one is. You know what a top 100 is. We're counting down my 100 favorites. Warning, this is my favorites. If you dislike opinions, run. Run as fast as you can. Let's go. Banana shoot gets to be 100 because the it, it confuses me every single time. I like bananas. I feel like Maximum Circus is the move everyone constantly forgets about, including myself. But every time they think about it, they go, hmm, that was pretty cool. <coughs> goopy Goopy go Goopy Gloopy Goo is an incredible name and a terrible name at the same time. But I do love it both. Also, it's a strong block move. That's helpful. Jackknife doesn't really make much sense when you think about it. But it's kind of cool and it like suits Hillary's like edgy personality. So I like it. Rolling kick is on here because of Steve. Nothing else. I just love Steve so much. I had to put his big move on there. It's fantastic. You know, it's simple. It's clean. <laughs> Do Re Mi is actually my favorite dub name ever. Fun fact. I just find it genuinely quite entertaining every single time I hear it. It's Do Re Mi. It's in reference to... The movie, The Sound of Music, very popular movie. Planet Shield. He has a massive planet and he, and he just chucks it. What other reason do you need? Aura Aura Mensch, otherwise known as Menacing Glare if you're, if you're like, you know, like your dub names or whatever. Your unofficial dub names to be exact. It, it's, it's a pretty badass movie. He just walks forward. And then there you go. What else needs to be said? Tsunami boost introduced the long shot essentially. And what a cool way to do that other than just kind of flooding the pitch and probably drowning a bunch of teenagers. Margin the hand is on here, but I'm only talking about the original version. Aries margin the hand might be like the most disappointing thing ever. It just looks so underwhelming every time it's used. Double touch is like a really simple dribble move, but I kind of like it for how simple it is. It feels like the kind of thing you could easily just do in real life if you were just really talented, uh, which I'm not, but working towards. Mushroom Hop's got the name um, Fungus Mungus. That should answer all your questions. Tri Pegasus had an entire episode dedicated to it, and I think when you have an entire episode dedicated to one move, you grow really attached emotionally to that one move. Probably the only reason why it's on here, but also I kind of just like the concept of three lads running at a ball. It's quite funny. Look at UFO is not a special move. I refuse to believe it. It's a tactic. Big brain. No future. The horniest move of all time. Well, I feel like it's powered by the power of the horn. Does that make sense? Legendary Wolf is a really cool Sean move. Um, I always like the, 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 the head cannon. I guess it's not really a head cannon. It's kind of cannon cannon. But I always like the idea that it was Aiden and Sean's move used together. Um, and that became Sean's move overall. I think that's a really cool idea. I like the idea that as a sign of growth, someone can do a two-player move by themselves. I think that's quite interesting. Defense equation is Zippy Learner's move. The ultimate pusher and glass. I think he literally does push his glasses up as he uses it, which just screams badass. Zippy Lerner is definitely a Rick and Morty fan. Death Zone 2 is another one of those moves there's an entire episode dedicated to and such. I have an emotional attachment to, to it due to the fact that there is this massive time spent on it and it makes the actual use of the move a lot more rewarding. A brutal header. <laughs> Procyon Net's really cool. I think Nero's a really cool goalkeeper. This idea of the best goalkeeper in Zone 2 just being this little tiny lad. I just find that really funny. I think Proki on that is, I think, definitely a very exciting, interesting, cool move. How many times am I going to say cool this video? The race is on. Another cool goalkeeping move. Shout out to Sam Guck Hand for capable hands. It's like God Hand 2, but red. Atomic Flare is like the ultimate fire move. It's just a, a lot of fire. There's just a lot of fire. Speaking of lots of fire, grand fire, lot of fire. Katana Kick holds a special place in my heart because of the fact that Roma essentially carried me through uh, my Ghost Strikers 2013 Nuzlocke. Um, and he used Katana Kick a lot and I appreciated that. 
Gekka and Dunk would be higher because I do love Ibuki. But unfortunately, it suffers from a pretty fatal flaw. That the fail animation is atrocious. The man just tumbles. Blazing Knuckle is a really cool anime moment. And aside from the fact it's a really boring move, the anime moment's really cool. Heat Tackle just feels awesome. Just the idea of surrounding yourself with flames and running at someone just feels cool. Tenku! Atoshi! And suddenly, a million fanboys ran at me with a massive distaste commenting, uh, Tom, you didn't put Tenku Toshi in the top 10. What are you doing, Tom? What are you doing? I'll tell you what I'm doing. I'm putting Ephemeral Boost right above Tenku Itoshi. Lots of red in, in this one, and I think that's awesome. Heartbeat is a really cool dribble, and it's the only Aryan move you're going to see on this list, because, um, should you, sorry, I shouldn't be saying that. I know that the Aryan stands are going to lose their minds again. I think I've enraged them enough in my lifetime. Number 69 is Macaroni Spaghetti with extra sauce. I've spent about five minutes standing here thinking of what to say for Dimensional Hand. Um, I'm just going to leave it at... I like it a lot. It's a unique and clever way to, like, move the shot away. Um, cool. Emperor Penguin 2 featuring Shark. Best name for a move I've ever heard. Emperor Penguin 2, but specifically the Ares version, where they become one massive penguin. <laughs> Warp Drive has teleportation. That's pretty sick. And Field of Force is, like, the ultimate, um... Build up to built up to moment and that it's these two um, rivals, you know, fighting each other on the same team, eventually making this epic dribbling move. Very epic. And Penguin 3 is also weirdly enough a Jude and Caleb move right after I was not intentional. But Aaron Penguin 3 holds a special place in my heart because I used to use it all the time with them um, a Mixy Max Ricardo Victor. And it was the main thing I'd use to score goals and chrono stones, and so that was really cool. Bush and Blades. Um, was another one that holds a special place in my heart because of Go Dragons 2013. It's also going to be the only fighting spirit movie you're going to see on this list. So, um, nice. Fireball Storm is really cool. It's got a massive fire guy, which I can respect. I guess that can count as a fighting spirit move, huh? So I guess I just lied earlier. Hector Helio is awesome moves. Like, such awesome moves. Tomashi the Hand is sick as hell. As a narcissist, I am the Almighty really speaks to me. I don't know why they decided to make Hayzaki's thing sharks all of a sudden, but for some reason it actually really works and is really cool, and also the shark effect looks really nice. Stargazer. But Blue Stardust is one spot ahead of Stargazer purely to piss off Tail of the Toaster. Hunter's Net is on here because I really like Ator Kazador, um, and I think that he just deserves to be on the list spiritually. Because I actually prefer the um, the blocking move of the Flam. I just wish that Ator had it instead of Gabby. Do I wish that? Yeah, I wish that. Why not? I associate Zigzag Spark with Steve, and so obviously it's high on the list. Why wouldn't it be? Steve! Shout out to Nathan's best move, Spinning Fence. Um, they gave Nathan a cool move. Finally, took bloody long enough. Hey, TXM, did you put every single cut on the list? Uh, yeah, TXM, I did, thank you very much. Starting with Demon Cut. Spooky. Ooh! Ah! Bicycle Sword is a, is a long shot. It's also insanely broken and kind of destroys all the beginning of Galaxy. Dead to straight. Uh, well, ah, wait, I can totally do dead straight. Uh, uh. Whoa. God Hand V is just like super OP and fun. But not as fun and OP is Grand Fenr. How do you pronounce it? Grand Fenr. Let's go with that. Why not? Planet Break is just just so over the top, I adore it. This man just destroys a planet with his shot. As you do. The alias moves are just kind of really nice. And I feel like I, I played in Zoom 11 2 so much to the point where I feel like I've seen them so much that they just ingrained themselves into my head as stuff I like. For instance, Wormhole and Meteor Shower. Sticking that in a Zoom 11 2 realm. Sigma Zone, I always thought was a really, really cool one. And then hopping all the way over to Galaxy with Wild Dunk. It's called Blam Dunk in English, but we ignore that and we just move on with our lives. Shinkuma belongs to my one of my all-time favorite in Azuma Eleven characters, Archer Hawkins. So of course I have to include it. Fun fact: first ever in Azuma Eleven OC I made um, had Shinkuma. Fun fact: Odin Sword may feel out of place on an Italian team, but I think it's still just a really cool move on its own. 
obviously God knows has the angel motif going for it. And it also just strikes fear upon the hearts of anyone who's watched the English dub. I'm hoping just because Aphrodite's voice in the English dub is just quite entertaining, to be honest. It just feels like really high-pitched high -pitched squealing. You're about to experience the wrath of the gods! Northern Impact is my personal favorite of the two alias um, elementers, shooters, moves. And no, Fire Blizzard isn't on here. I hate Fire Blizzard. That's um, my thing that's going to get me cancelled, I'm assuming. Reverse World is a really cool goal kicking move. I, I love black and white. I'm a sucker for everything black and white. So the second the world becomes black and white, I'm in. As a massive Strictly Come Dancing fan, I can respect this one. Zigzag Strike is another really cool Xavier Schiller Ares move because he just glows up and he just goes and that's awesome. And Excalibur, well, I'm British. That should answer your questions. Innocent Drive is Froy's move that I've never actually seen him use. I haven't watched Orion much, but um, I think it's awesome. And Southern Cross is my second favorite in Azuma 11 Dribble with Cross in the name. Fusion Rajan um, is one of my all-time favorite anime moments, which is Victory Line being used against Fusion Rajan. Except Victory Line, I think, is kind of dumb, but I love Fusion Rajan. It's like if um, Mark Evans just had two Rajan hands, and I think that's a really cool concept. I'm like eight when it comes to these moves. Olympus Harmony contains the word Olympus in it and is a Greek uh, mythology nut. I have to include it on the basis of that alone. And Heaven's Time is the move that confused me for years because I was really confused why everyone just thought that Aphrodite teleported, not realizing that him stopping time would mean that they wouldn't see him move. I was a stupid kid, I'm sorry. Another move that confused me, the explosion is used as a dribble in Orion for some reason at one point and like, I can't wrap my head around that one. Black Dawn is a move I attempted in real life, and I think I pulled off. My memory on that might be wrong, but um, it's also a move containing Mad Tag Eden, so I have to include it on that basis alone. Scream of Eden is an awesome two-player move. It's just fun to slap on anyone in Galaxy, to be honest. Just aggressive shouting. I can appreciate that. Ute no Tat, or however you pronounce it, is um, the shield move used by Nishikagi that I really enjoy. Um, just this idea of just a pure shield being used to block. Well, I mean, it just makes sense, doesn't it? Kazanrai! Kazanrai! Hector Helio's moves just have a really nice shade of color to them. X-Blast gets to be this high because I just like the shade of color. And we're back standing up because Spinning Cut is next. And as I said, I'm including every cut, so shout out to Spinning Cut. Meteor Blade is the kind of move that I'd want to use just if I was in the Inner Zoom universe. The idea of this big space shot that we can just fire off into anything and, like, Knowing me, I'd miss it every time, but it would still just look really cool. Like, one of my partners could come up and just, like, kick it into... You know, I, I think that'd be sick as hell. Thundertaker! Oh! Thundertaker's awesome. I think this clip of me watching it is really all I need to say. My balls are sweating. They are sweating. They are in the process of sweating. They are in the process of sweating right now. Yes! 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 Oh, oh, oh. Silk Road is an amazing dribble move that just has a really nice, like, silhouette type vibe to it, and I just love it. Shout out to Eric Eagle, who is Flame Dance. I love fire moves, if you can't tell, um, and the idea of someone just dancing fire is just awesome. I just love it. Song of the Three Kingdoms, because if TXM didn't include a reference to Lou Bain in his 11 video, then is he really being TXM? Hey TXM, do you love fire moves? Yeah, I do. Thanks, TXM. Hey TXM, do you love the move called Maximum Fire? Yeah, I do. Thanks, TXM. And then last resort, because I'm an eight-year-old inside and I love cool things. Footwork draw is appealing to me because I really like the simple defensive moves. So the fact that you just do, 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 ho, ho, ho. And I like the way it, you know, takes influence from boxing in particular. Really adore it. Britannia Cross is my favorite dribble move with cross in the name. Penguin, the God and Devil is a beautiful mix between a uh, Hizaki and the other guy, Xavier Kira Hiruto, Xavier Schiller, whatever his name is. Um, it's the best penguin move by a mile. I mean, it, just look at the colors. I love colors. I'm colorblind, but I love colors. And finally, the last cut is Volcano Cut. Fire, blocking. Mm, it looks like it's a TXM pick. Chrysanthium Katana is on the list because if TXM didn't go through a video without referencing Okita, then he's doing something wrong with his life. Gungnir is an awesome move. The man just goes and becomes like a cross and everything. Bro. Bro. Einsatz is probably just this high because of my like sheer 
just memory of it. I've just using it so many times playing Galaxy. At this point, it's just ingrained in me, and it's like like a reflex of just clicking Einsatz on Ricardo. Cosmic Blaster. Yes, please. As an inner eight-year-old, this is the coolest move ever. I mean, just the just the genuine effect of just the big black circle with like the different colors. Of and finally, finishing off our Hector Helio trilogy is God Hand X. So red God Hand with an X in front of it and made me feel like I'm really funny every time I come up with God Hand T, God Hand A, or God Hand C. God Hand D, he uses his dick. Rising Slash is my favorite goalkeeping move of all time. I just, don't ask me why, just really, really, really love it. The way he just slashes upwards, I think that's just amazing. Trace Press probably doesn't deserve to be this high. Trace press is the kind of move where if ever I'm asked, Tom, what moves would you like to do for me in Zoom 11? It's just this. It's just a simple copying the opponent's attacks and then going, Whoo! and then doing it. I adore it. I just think it's so simple and nice and I love it. Meanwhile, on the complete other end of the spectrum is Final Death Zone. A huge jump into the sky, out of, into space, spinning death zone, OMG. Number two is probably going to rustle some feathers, but it is Jibarashi Ken. I don't actually remember what it's called in English, to be honest. But this move is about as simple as you can get. Fire on the foot, spin around, steal the ball. But for some reason, something about how it looks and how it's done is so visually appealing to me. It's like watching like kittens. I just adore it all so much. I know it's not a good move. I know it's not like a particularly over the top extreme move, but for some reason, it just works on every single level for me. Combines my favorite things in Zoom 11. Fire moves, blocking moves, simple moves into one beautiful package. But it is lacking the emotional attachment of number one. If you've been watching my content for a while, this should come as no surprise. But number one is Prime Legend, the Axel and Jude move. Prime Legend works for me because of multiple reasons. First of all, I think it's just an awesome move. It's just blue and sparkly and glistening, and I love it. Secondly, um, the way it's using the movie combined with the soundtrack just does things to me and gives me chills every single time. I love the spinning as well. And finally, it has a lot of emotional attachment to me because of a running joke in Instagram 11 3 Randomizer Let's Play, where I was so set on getting a Prime Legend move manual the second I found out that the, the game sold like move random move manuals. All I wanted was this Prime Legend one. And after so many episodes of saying that I wanted it, I eventually got it. And it was the highlight of that entire series for me. So that has definitely propelled up for me. Now it's just unshakable. It is my favorite move of all time. And that is the list. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And tell me how wrong I am down in the comments below. See you guys next time. Bye.